Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, or as I should say, the Laptop Bros, because we have another really good laptop for you. This one comes in at $750, and it has an RTX 3050 Ti in it. Yeah, it's a laptop with an RTX 3050 Ti, and the even more impressive part is this is a very slim laptop, a 14-inch laptop that can be used for work stuff, but also with that 3050 Ti, it can definitely do some gaming. But before I open this thing up, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by NOCN and their latest 40-inch ultra-wide monitor that rocks a 3440 by 1440 display at 144 hertz, HDR, and built-in picture-by-picture and picture-in-picture -picture modes for awesome productivity for content creators or really any hardcore multitasker. Its flat panel design is ideal for designers wanting to have a true-to-life image. Oh, and of course, it's absolutely amazing for gaming with that high refresh rate and beautiful picture. You can experience your favorite games like you've never had before and take advantage of that powerful gaming rig you have running it. Be sure to check the link down below to learn more and social thanks to NOCN for sponsoring today's video. So you may be thinking an RTX 3050 Ti laptop for 750 is you know, an okay deal, it's not the best, but this thing actually has 16 gigs of RAM. It has a Ryzen 5800U, which is an A-Core 16 thread, paired with that 3050 Ti, and it's incredibly slim, and it's also an eBay reefer. So yeah, what we're gonna do is open this thing up, see what's inside, and I'm very interested to see how a 3050 Ti performs in such a compact laptop, because you normally see really beefy laptops with these dedicated NVIDIA GPUs, so it'd be really cool to see how this one performs. So let's just open it up. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this laptop. So just a quick disclaimer, because some of you may be wondering what I meant by its eBay refurb. So eBay themselves, they don't sell anything to my knowledge. It's basically Acer has an official eBay page, which official eBay pages are typically very trustworthy. They typically offer like the 30 day money back guarantee. Um, they usually have like some type of warranty, sometimes even from the factory. And on top of that, well, it's a certified reseller. So Acer, you know, they're definitely a good company. A lot of times companies like New Egg, Acer, HP, Crucial, you name it. They'll sell stuff that's refurbed or just discontinued on eBay because they don't want to sell it on their website because that would just be a little bit off brand. But as you can see, we got a very thin, very thin and sleek, uh, really it just looks like an office laptop. You would never think that this thing could game. Like I would look at this and think it was a Chromebook almost just in terms of how slim and sleek it is. But the only other thing it comes with is our little power brick here. And this one is a 90 watt. So not too bad on power either. Boop, boop. Nice and slim. And so in terms of port, so we have a combo headphone jack. We have a USB 3.2. We got some indicator likes. We have a Kingston lock. We also have a, another USB uh, 3.2, and that's a, actually a charging one. So when the laptop's off, in theory, it should charge. We have an HDMI out, and we have a USB Type C that can also be used as another display out. So you could have up to three monitors technically when you include the laptop monitor. So that's kind of cool. But opening this thing up, it looks pretty good. It's funny because it almost just looks like it has like no branding to it. It's, yeah. Yeah, you almost assume that, you know, it is a refurb, so who knows what they replaced. They could have replaced this top plate. Maybe it got damaged at some point. We do have a fingerprint scanner. A really interesting layout. It's kind of like kind of MacBook-y. Almost reminds me of like an older laptop. It does have a nice light up keyboard. It's just uh, standard white um, and it turned right on. So that's definitely looking good. Oh yeah, and Matt kind of- uh, Yeah, you know, we he prepped might've, it. Might've prepped it a little bit. I know it works. We do have a webcam, we have speakers, we got a keyboard. I mean, this is really everything you need. Camera, I wanna see what the camera looks like. See what I look like. Hello, there's me with the camera. It's not a bad looking camera. It definitely seems like it's a pretty good um, frequency and everything. So it looks, looks pretty decent. It even has H, is that HDR? It has HDR. HDR. Auto HDR. Whoa. Obviously if we had the lighting set up a little better, this wouldn't be a bad camera for doing like Zoom meetings and team meetings and whatnot. So, so as you can see, we have the Ryzen 750 100U and that's eight core 16 threads. All right, for memory, Two. We're gonna have to, yeah, it looks like two of two is being used, which is good. That's yep. speed. Holy crap, yeah, that can't be right. This is DDR4, so I, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't seem right, but who knows? We have two of two slots, so we do have two eight gig sticks. That's awesome, really good on um, Acer for doing that in this laptop. Let's see what SSD we got. We got a 512 gig um, HF, I assume it's an NVMe SSD, and then let's check out our 3050 Ti with four gigs of dedicated RAM. And then we also, of course, have the, um, which actually would still be pretty good. The 5800U has decent integrated Vega graphics. So if you ever wanted to save battery, but you still want to play games, like let's say Minecraft, Roblox, maybe Fortnite, this could probably run those just fine without even touching the GPU. So you could save a lot of power. So yeah, what we're gonna do as always is launch some games, see how it performs, and just kind of go over the value proposition of this laptop. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Apex Legends on this tiny little laptop screen. And it does definitely look good. I mean, we're at like high settings right now. 
and we're actually getting above 60 FPS. So there's really not much of a reason to try to like aim for 144. I mean, yeah, the game will run smoother, but I'd rather it like look better because it's such a small screen. I want to be able to see like every detail. Um, and obviously you can run an external monitor. So, you know, I wouldn't like look at the small screen and be like really discouraged because I kind of think 17 inch laptops are kind of dumb. I feel like at that point, like just hook it up to an external monitor when you want to play games. The speakers are loud. The speakers are very loud, very impressive. This guy's a charge rifle. Hit him with the smoke. Oh. Thirsting teammate. That is disgusting. Definitely gonna keep it on the temperature throughout some other games, but yeah, the performance is still there though. You can definitely play games and it does more than you would think from such a compact little laptop. And one thing to keep in mind is you really could lift this thing up a little bit at the least or at the best, like get a little laptop cooling yeah. pad. So we're on to the next game. All right, guys, of course, we got to test Fortnite and we are currently running on uh, performance mode, medium view distance, medium textures, and uh, FPS is looking good. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a lighter game, obviously not as demanding as Apex, so I do expect to perform well, but we've also had a lot of issues with um, random systems just not liking Fortnite at all, like the performance is just crap, but we're getting 100 plus FPS right now, so um, I think Fortnite is going to be a pass on this and the, the pairing of that Ryzen 7 with the dual channel memory, which is very important, um, and a NVIDIA GPU, it, like, it, just, it just works great, so no problems. No headphones, I can't hear anything. Oh, here they come. Wow, one tap. All right, you're done. You're done. We're just cleaning up here, ladies and gentlemen. He's building for his life. Oh, and I just got shot from behind by Naruto. There's so many random characters in Fortnite. I just don't even know how to react to that, but. <laughs> oh, there goes Naruto. And up. the guy, oh, oh, there's just a lot going on here. Well, that's Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. It runs great. It's cool. It's awesome. Let's move on to another game. All right, everyone, we are playing Battlefield. And is this 2042? This is five Oops. still. Oh, oh and God. you just got mowed down. I don't even know what the differences are nowadays, honestly. Five, 2042, who cares? You know, World War II is the same as 2042. <laughs> <laughs> same era. Yeah, same same concept. I mean, you know, it depends on what you think. But yeah, we're on like pretty much low settings, 1080p. I mean, so far we're getting like 60 FPS. We're really eating up some RAM for sure. Good thing we got 16. Um, game yeah, still I'm, looks good. I, yeah, it does look really good. I'm not good at this game, though. It's so hard to me. It is a very difficult game. Oh, oh God, they pull it. No. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got run over. See, a game like this on this small screen is even worse. It's already it, hard enough to find people. And you've been defeated three, <laughs> 348 <laughs> to zero. Is that good? Uh-oh. The shirt. Oh, oh, headshot. Oh. He got his snipe kill. Oh! oh. He's stressed, oh. he's stressed. Oh, I got scared. How did that guy just mow everyone down? Uh oh. No way that missed. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no way that missed. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's good. You know? All right, yeah, Battlefield it's definitely successful. stresses this thing to its limits, but it's more than playable, so. 96 C, I think we hit 98 max, and it went down, so that's good. It at least knows how to cool itself a little bit. It does. All right, we're gonna try one more game. All right, guys, we are now in Forza Horizon 5, and I'm just, you know, I'm just killing it, man. Drift you know? it, drift it. But yeah, no, we're running on medium settings, 1080p, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty looking game. We can switch cameras. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, he's in the cockpit? I'm in the cockpit. Wait, wait, I don't understand what's happening. Is this like the GTA bank heist? It kind of is. I like this. Woo! I looked at the camera <laughs> and now I'm off track. He's a little off track. I'm coming back. I'm coming back, I oh swear. Oh, God. Ah! Bronco, regain yourself. <laughs> regain your composure. Yee! This one's a little faster, Matt. You best be careful with it. So you're saying I shouldn't slam on the brakes? Whoa, boy! <laughs> we off roaded. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, here we go, baby. What else do we have? Thunder in the jungle. Ooh, it's a rally Porsche. Oh! <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. Here we go again. Baja. Is that a Bugatti? Oh, the final drop. I know it's a Mercedes. Professional driver. What in the? F 
But look at that. Woo. I finally beat the intro. You got an achievement. But yeah, 60 plus FPS, no problems. And I can actually create a character now. Wow, that's beautiful. But yeah, overall, this laptop, again, is not ideally made for gaming, but it has a 3050 Ti in it. So it can definitely do some gaming while also doing some other things on the side. So overall, pretty awesome laptop. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so we just got done benchmarking this laptop, and although it ran a little bit hot, it overall did a really good job. We were playing on top of this mat, so I can't really blame it for getting a little bit warm. So overall, for a hybrid gaming slash office laptop, I think it's a really good option, especially the refurbished deals you can pick up from Acer's refurbished deal page over on eBay. So uh, yeah, check those links down below. They will be affiliate links and will help us out. And uh, let us know if there's any other like business laptops or graphics cards you'd like to see us take a look at, because normally we focus on the gaming side of things, but there's a lot of people who want something that they can work on and also game on the side. And I think this one does a great job at that. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now this laptop will actually be for sale at PC Bros, probably at a discounted price too, and hey, we've already benchmarked it and tested it for you. You can buy gaming laptops, gaming PCs, and a bunch of other stuff over at our website, pcbros.tech, or in person at our storefront, and you use code TOASTYBROS2, you can save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.